Hello, everyone. <laughs> My name is Gloria Matiri. Um, I'm a student athlete here at Kansas State University. I play volleyball, and I uh, major in broadcast journalism. I was born in Tulsa, Oklahoma, and my parents are from the Democratic of Congo on the Kinshasa side. Um, we moved a lot growing up. I lived in Delaware. I lived in Tennessee, and the most common denominator of all these places is that um, there was not a lot of diversity. And I went to private schools. I went to public schools and uh, preparatory schools, and I was usually the only black girl in most of these classes. Um, everyone's parents drove the same Range Rover. Um, <laughs> everybody played soccer together, and everybody had someone who looked like them, except for me. And the kids always made me feel so different. Um, while everyone was bringing Lunchables and Cosmic Brownies to school, I brought my fufu and my stew and my fondue and rice, and the kids would always laugh and be like, that smells so bad, and <laughs> uh, make fun of it. And, they used to make fun of the way that my hair was so nappy because everybody had nice hair that would swish back and forth. And um, I never got to participate in the fake marriage games that kids would play at recess because um, none of the white guys ever wanted to be with a black girl. And so I used to always have to be the wedding planner. <laughs> <laughs> and my classmates would joke about um, my parents' accents and what they would wear to come pick me up from school. And I'd heard micro-aggressive comments like this all my life, and I never considered it to be racist or for it to be evil-natured. I just assumed that that's the way that things were, and that I was odd, and that I was the oddball, and that nobody wanted to try my food, nobody wanted to find out why my hair was like how it was, and no one wanted to try to understand my parents. At home, we would listen to Congolese music, we would uh, dance to Congolese music, eat Congolese food, and dress in our kikwembes, but my parents didn't know how to help me because they were African and they didn't really know what it's like to be black in America. Racism was such a confusing concept to them. And so after years of feeling like an outcast, I did what you're never supposed to do. I assimilated because I wanted to fit in so badly. So I got weaves so I could have a nice ponytail and I started bringing my lunch to school and I started to care about all the topics that everybody else cared about. And that didn't help because then I became the black girl that acts white and I became uh, fun, made fun of for not being black enough and that hurt also. Um, a lot of that changed though in college for me because I met one of my closest friends, Abigail Archibong, and she had African parents just like me and we were both first born um, in America, and we grew up living the same kind of lifestyle. The difference between us is that she took so much pride in her culture, and that's the first time I'd experienced anything like that in my life. And so I began to change my mindset and shift my perspective. Um, I spent a lot of time with my friends from Black Student Union and from African Student Union, and I stopped feeling so attacked for my culture, and I just began to embrace it. And I don't want to hide it anymore, and I don't want to assimilate anymore, because I'm really proud of who I am. I'm proud to be a child of the Congo, and I'm proud, to, I'm proud to be in a race that has overcome so many setbacks and so much suppression. I'm grateful to be surrounded by people who think that what makes me different is pretty cool. For the people in your workplace and that are around you, that are in your daily lives, I wish you would help them to not feel so alienated sometimes. With all the noise in the world, especially this harsh racial climate that we're living in, everybody needs a place to call home. Whether you're black, white, Native American, Chinese, German, Russian, British, we all need a safe place that we can express who we are. K-State prides itself in being a family atmosphere, but for this place to become home, we have a lot of work to do. Inclusion and respect must be a standard, and we need to help each other break barriers Home is a place where we can sit down and have really tough and really awkward conversations with each other and where we can, everyone can have a seat at the table and everyone can really talk about how they feel without feeling judged. Minorities, I wish that you would learn to love yourself and what makes you different is so beautiful. And majority, I wish that you would spot the difference around you. I wish that you would see color and embrace it and I wish that you would celebrate it. Educate yourself around the cultures, about the cultures around you, and if we can do that, then we can make K-State homes to a beautiful and diverse family. Thank you.
Thank you. <laughs> um,